So again, try to keep this image in mind. And we are connecting the, we're going through the process of connecting the internal ball to the external ball. We're gonna be utilizing the Yang circles in the vertical plane and perpendicular to the um, ground and also perpendicular to the chest. Uh, so we're gonna go step-by-step step from the Dantian internal ball, building that slowly to the large joints in the shoulders and then to the elbows and then uh, finally to the wrists and fingers and hands. And so, you know, we can start this from sitting or from standing, but let's start this, uh, let's start this from standing and in a, a mountain climbing stance. Um, you can choose the uh, stride, the length of stance, the depth of stance that, that you like. And then you're gonna also want to change uh, legs and stances as you see fit. And you can do that by bringing one leg up, switching, bring the other leg back, or you can bring the back leg and then switch as well. So this is connected to also rocking and then also um, stepping. Okay. So again, we're gonna be working in the vertical plane and vertical to, um, re in reference to the, to the ground and then also perpendicular to the chest. So simply this. And yang circles moving this direction, okay? So let's sort of make a hand posture, uh, a general hand posture, any, anything. It could be, you know, it could be like you're just kind of carrying something. It's going to be palms either up or palms facing one another. Okay. I would kind of recommend palms facing one another in a way that kind of connects us to Tai Chi ball. And also you might get a sense of the Chi flowing as well. So we're, we're starting the internal cultivation and the internal movement in the Dantian. So let's get a, an idea and a feeling for that. You can start off like really small in the abdomen, placing the mind in the Dantian at the center of the abdomen as best as you can. And then connecting that feeling to a, um, a feeling of movement in the physical tissues in the abdomen. So you can do that by rolling the spine a little bit, rolling the abdomen a little bit, and getting starting to build that circular motion that's gonna connect us to that large uh, spiral. And so we want to connect that to the breathing. Remember that we always say when we uh, come in, we inhale. And then when we go out, we exhale. So how do you connect that to the Dantian, that small you know, movement there? You start the same. When there's a feeling or a movement, you know, whether it's the most uh, nuanced, there's that, there's that um, descending and, and centering movement. So that's your inhale and exhale. So we'll take some time, maybe about, uh, you know, a dozen repetitions to get um, acclimated to that feeling in the abdomen.
you'll want to let your torso be soft. So your tailbone, your hips, your lower back and spine. And let's start to gradually make that movement larger so that it starts to travel up more of the spine and then travel down into the legs. And so as the spiral starts to get larger from the Dantian, away from the Dantian, you sort of feel it start to knock its knock on the door of the shoulders, start to start uh, interface with, with the shoulder and chest bow. See if you could get a sense of that transition going from the spine bow and starting to interface with the chest bow. So I'm asking you to be quite nuanced and, and subtle and aware of um, those, those transitional areas. If your arms start to feel fatigued, then you can just let the arms extend and just kind of let them be down, but you're still keeping the arms engaged. So you can adjust your arms from down here to here, and then maybe even here. If you're gonna feel, if you're feeling the energy strong, then you'll extend them. So now let's, expand the spiral out from the Dantian even more. And now let's, we're opening the door to the chest bow. Now that means that we're gonna to start to engage the shoulder girdle. So you're feeling the scapula rolling in your back. You're feeling the shoulders. Uh, you kinda of wanna, you kinda of wanna, um, minimize shrugging of the shoulders. So in a way they'll, they'll go back and forward. That means you'll engage your lats, your latissimus dorsi, usually called the wings, and even the deltoids. And now try to solidify that connection of the uh, Dantian to the shoulders, right? Essentially that first um, movement from the Dantian to the, sh to the shoulders. Connect those and solidify that connection. Okay, so let's expand the movement even more now into the elbows. And as mentioned before, um, change your stance, you know, as needed. And what you, what you wanna do is get a sense of the difference in feeling from going from the shoulders to the elbows. From Dantian to shoulders to elbows. And the movement is continuous, slow, smooth, circular, and cyclical in the sense that we're staying in that vertical plane. 
and perpendicular to the chest. Okay, so now take your mind, let's take the mind back to the Dantian, just the Dantian. So remove the mind from the elbow, remove the mind from the shoulders, and just slowly place the mind on the Dantian. Now place the mind on the shoulders, keeping the spine soft and smooth, allowing the movement to move up the spine and into the shoulders. And now go to the elbows. Connect the Dantian to the shoulders and then to the elbows. So each time that you go farther and farther from the Dantian, you still want to maintain the sensation and the feeling uh, from the previous points. So for example, place your mind now between the middle fingers and, and almost connect the middle fingers in front of you and allow that to be the manifestation all the way from the Dantian as it's as the root and feel that movement from the Dantian travel through the spine, shoulders, elbows, and fingers. When you retract and recenter, feel all those points connected and retracting. When you move forward and manifest, feel all those points connected to the uh, larger movement. So you're having to think about not just the mind at the fingers, the middle fingers there connected, but you have to think of the mind from the Dantian to the shoulders, elbows, and then fingers. That's upon uh, contracting and expanding, contracting those points in, exhaling those points out. So another variation of the, of the stance that you can take, if you want, you can come back feet together. So let's do that. And let's relax the hands down. And go back to the Dantian. And go back to that initial movement just staying with that initial movement. So in a way you're omitting now the hands, you're omitting the arms, you're omitting the shoulders. However, that engine in a way is still going. So stay connected to that.
Now bring that movement to a close. So let's now close into Wuji. Bring that spiraling, circling movement to a final uh, resting point. Feel that movement come to a halt. And then from the Dantian, go ahead and connect your mind down to the feet, to the earth. And then connect your mind from the Dantian up the spine to the head and connection to the sky. Couple of breath cycles here. Let me see if anyone has any questions about that. If not, we'll just move on. No question? No? Okay. No? Okay. So we're gonna reverse the movement. Keep it in the same plane. We're just gonna reverse the movement and essentially do yin circles. Okay. Let's take the same stance, front, um, front stance, so, or mountain climbing stance, and the same arm hand posture. And as mentioned, you can hold the hands, you know, kind of here at the Dantian, out or completely extended, okay? So now we have to start to draw the movement in an opposite direction. And it's gonna be really fun, okay? So how do we do that and how do we start that, okay? First go into the Dantian and explore in the Dantian the yin circle. Feel that movement um, as best you can in a visceral sense, in the Dantian, in the center. You might need to engage your abdomen, might need to engage your lower back, maybe even the tailbone. Might need to spiral it, expand it out into the larger torso to get a sense, and then contract it back in deeper into the abdomen. And then now all of this is building the notion and the idea of how this is gonna manifest in the arms and hands. Get a sense of your breathing. Remember when you're coming in and recentering, that's inhaling, exhaling, extending and manifesting out. See if you can go to the shoulders from the Dantian. So spiral from the Dantian. Bring that movement, spiral it into the chest bow and shoulders. You need to have soft hips, knees, and ankles. If you need a visual, if I can help in being a visual, I'll sort of um, uh, demo it and exaggerate the movement. So the Dantian has to move first and then the chest and shoulders will follow. It's kind of as best as I can exaggerate it there.
See if you can extend that connection now from Dantian shoulders to elbows. You can place some of your mind in the triceps and biceps as well. To see how they'll follow and how they'll become integrated into the Dantian's movement. Bring the mind back to the shoulders, only the shoulders. Take the mind back to the elbows. Let's go all the way to the fingers now. You should be getting at some point full extension from the arms. And you should have a full body movement and full body integration. Bring the mind back to the Dantian now, just Dantian. Feel the difference in the body. Now connect Dantian to elbows. Dantian to elbows. See how it feels sort of bypassing shoulders and also integrating shoulders as you connect the Dantian to the elbows. Now Dantian, all the way to the fingers. Try to feel the movement originate. Dantian, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers.
let's recenter now. High horse stance. And we're gonna walk the movement back to the Dantian from the hands and fingers. By omission. So as best you can, maintain movement from Dantian, omit the fingers and the hands. So you're connecting the movement from Dantian all the way to the wrist, omitting the fingers and hands. You're still feeling the connection to shoulders and elbows. Omitting wrists now. Coming back to elbows, shoulders, Dantian. Now just shoulders, Dantian and shoulders. All right, so there's a tendency to just do shoulder circles here, right? We have to revisit the principle make sure that the movement is coming from Dantian and that the shoulders are following the Dantian. And now we relax the whole arm itself bringing that movement slowly into the Dantian. You can still engage the tailbone, engage the lower back and abdomen. You can feel the movement just restricted to the torso, maybe even just the spine. And then now bring the movement to a, a single point and rest the movement at complete stillness. So going into Wuji, try to find that feeling of complete stillness in the body and also in the mind. Feel yourself balanced on your feet. Feel the connection of the feet to the ground. Deep breath and feel the connection from the Dantian to the top of the head and sky. And a couple of breath cycles here. At this point, if you like, you can close your eyes. and open your eyes. The final part of this exercise is to combine yin and yang circles and explore the transitions from yin to yang and yang to yin and eventually figure eight, okay? You can see this one, you can see the manifestation and what you cannot see unless you really exaggerate, is the Dantian. So the circles, imagine what we just did, yang circles, yin circles, and imagine how your Dantian 
would influence the movement of the external ball and also set the um, influence the movement of the transitions can kind of get a sense of that. So then you'd be combining yin and yang circles in the Dantian. That'd be the final part of this exercise. I'm gonna pause here and uh, see if there's any questions or comments before we do that.